outfits I would wear if I was in Scooby-Doo High School Edition. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm introducing a brand new series on my channel and it's basically creating outfits inspired by cartoons or movies or films. I absolutely love filming my Outfit of the Day series like a year ago, two years ago now. And I just thought it'd be a fun way to kind of switch things up and make it a little bit more fun on my channel. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. So let me know in the comment section down below which ideas you want to see me do next. Like which themes, which movies, which Netflix series, anything. Comment them in the comment section below. And I will try my best to kind of recreate those outfits kind of like 2020 edition like the theme for this series is kind of like modernizing those cartoons those films those series to like this day and age and I feel like that's really fun and it kind of really gives me a lot of inspiration when I choose outfits that are kind of inspired by something it makes me really kind of appreciate the clothing that I do already have in my wardrobe and it kind of gives it a new lease of life as well so I really love this idea it's kind of like recycling your old clothes so yeah comment down below which ideas you want to see me do next don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this in the future and without further ado let's get into this series because it's going to be super fun and creative so i cannot wait for you guys to see what i have in store so let's get into it okay so this is what i would wear if i was daphne from scooby-doo so starting off with the top half of my outfit i've got these earrings from primark i know daphne does wear like a little bit of like bright green so i've just kind of added that detail in with the earrings just because i feel like it's got to be done and as I go down with the outfit I've got this little scarf from Primark this little cute white cardigan is another Primark piece and I just thought it'd be perfect to set this look off and it looks super cozy and trendy and fashionable so I love that and then moving on to my bag I've got this bright pink vibrant bag pack this one is from New Look I love this so much and I wear it all the time and I just thought paired with this outfit it would be really really cute and as for the co-ord set that I'm wearing, this one is from In The Style, it's the Demi Jones collection which dropped. Um, it was super affordable, so I just thought as a set this would look really really nice um, and coordinated. The only negative thing I would say about this co-ord set is a little bit see-through as you can see here. And the crop top is very very cropped so it keeps like riding up so you can see my underwear in this outfit. But we're going to ignore that, we're going to go with the vibe. So yeah, I love this, I think it's super cute, super Daphne and I love the colour swap. I just feel like it just sets it off and makes it more like modern, more 2020. As an inspired look from a cartoon, I feel like this is really, really cute. So we're now moving on to my shaggy inspired outfit. This one is super, super cute. I feel like it's so comfy, so casual and I love this so much. So yeah, we're going to start off with the headband. This one is from Primark. Most of this outfit, by the way, is from Primark. I'm just going to put it out there. We've got this necklace from Primark. This cute little handbag is from New Look. I love this. I think it's super cute. It's like a little bag pack, but you kind of wear it across the body. I love it. And then this green sweatshirt type of thing is from Primark as well. Moving on to the bottoms. These ones are from Primark. Do you know what? I feel like I'm going to wear outfits inspired by cartoons a lot more often because how cute is this outfit like I would never in a million years pair this together and I just love it so moving on to this Velma inspired outfit these glasses are from Primark they were like two pounds and they're like an orange tint kind of thing this jumper is from New Look the collar is kind of like sewn in as well so it's kind of like an all-in-one type of piece the backpack is from Primark and underneath this super cute sweatshirt I have got this burgundy jumpsuit this one is from boohoo i've had this for a couple of years and i love it super stretchy super comfortable and as you can see it's very diverse as well and then these little earrings are from primark as well so they're super cute i just feel like these outfits you can wear every day and they're really really cute and trendy so let me know what you think in the comments below about this outfit i love it i think it's cute especially these little glasses it kind of just sets it off so my next outfit as you can probably tell has been inspired by fred i feel more like a pirate as you can imagine because of these sleeves these golden earrings and everything but you know I've tried my best so for the headband I picked this one up in Primark as a set the earrings again are Primark they're like a golden yellow hoop and then for the puffy sleeved top this one is from Boohoo the jumpsuit is from New Look this cute little yellow bag is from New Look as well but what I've loved throughout all these outfits are they're super affordable and super fun to recreate and no one really knows that they're 
kind of like based on a cartoon or anything like if you just look at this it looks pretty cool pretty stylish so moving on to the last outfit which I'm going to recreate for this video this one as you can probably tell or may not is Scooby-Doo I've gone for this like animal print kind of vibe so I've gone for this like cheetah print jacket which is from Shein and then because he has a blue collar I've gone for this blue backpack this one was a gift for me for my birthday from Josh so I don't actually know where this is from and then for my dress this one is from Primark and I wore it in my autumn outfit ideas and I just thought this would be perfect because it's just really long, it's like a long maxi dress type of thing. And then in my hair I've got this cute little animal print clip that I've just used to put my hair back a little bit. This outfit and the way I've done my hair kind of reminds me of Phoebe from Friends. So yeah, I love this outfit. Again, super affordable, super cool and easy to recreate. Just play with colours, play with like prints and patterns and stuff. Pick up some unique pieces when you next go out shopping, it really does add a little bit of extra detail to your outfit. So yeah, I've absolutely loved creating these Scooby-Doo outfits, I think it looks really, really cute. So yeah, that was what I would wear if I was in Scooby-Doo High School Edition, as I said at the beginning, 2020 themed, you know, keep it modern, but kind of still inspired by the films. Like, I'm not trying to 100% recreate these outfits, I'm just using this idea as inspiration to wear out and about and to be honest with these outfits you wouldn't probably tell that they have been based from a cartoon which I feel like is the best part it really encourages you to recycle your current wardrobe pieces and kind of give them a new lease of life which is something I love the most about this idea so yeah let me know in the comment section below which outfits you want to see me do next if you have any ideas around this series I am hoping to eventually bring this series outdoors and make it more of like a cinematic kind of thing but as it stands at the moment and obviously with everything going on I'm doing it indoors in my flat because I feel like that's the safest thing to do right now so yeah I'm filming it in my flat but obviously over time I'm hoping to kind of bring this series outdoors as I did in my outfit videos because that was really fun to do and I really enjoy editing those as well so that's it for today's video don't forget to smash this a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe and follow me on Instagram because I do try and post quite regularly on there. I do polls and questionnaires for you to get involved with. So follow me on my Instagram. It's World of Cora. I will leave a little thing here for you guys to check out. And yeah, I hope you're all well. Hope you're staying safe. And I'll see you all in my next video.